Hello everybody, it's Shirley. Today I'm just going to give you a little tour of my work desk and talk about doing a depth year or making do and working with things that I have because I do have quite a few things, stuff and sometimes it can get a little bit overwhelming. My biggest vice is books. I do like books. Over here I've got a lot of notebooks and junk journals and up in here are some of my witty books. So what I plan to do for this year is to slow up on buying and just work with what I've got and see what I can do with the stuff that I do have which I think is a thing I can do because I do have that much stuff. I also do painting as well so and I'd like to get a little bit back into the painting. I have the I think yes here it is Tamara Laporte's Ever After. I want to go through that to get back into painting. That's quite a very good book as well. It's um, mostly uh, mixed media art. Of course I have to get in and finish up the sewing basket before I do any other projects with my sewing. This book here I've got all about herbs. I want to start a herb folder and um, study herbs as well. And as you can see down here in all these boxes in here, I've got a lot of paper craft. So I can go through all of that. And uh, use here are all sewing things like threads and um, little bits of material. I don't throw away material, even the smallest scraps. That's... Uh, all in there, all the small scraps I use for crazy quilting. As you can see, I've finished painting up my rune stones. I just have to varnish them. Over here is my uh, small old lap in here. My sister gave me a, um, what do you call it? Um, I'm having a senior moment, crystal ball. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> just, yeah, so that was a really good thing to receive. I have got all my candles in here. I made these candles using pressed flowers. And I've got some, I don't know what anybody calls them now because a lot of people don't call them smudge sticks because it's a, um, smudging is a Native American thing. But I do have these that are made up. And I probably will burn them. This one here is done using just roses. So I might use it for February as well. Um, I've got a lot of feathers in here. So I might make up a um, smoke wand using the feathers. You did see me make these sachets up. And uh, in here is the fairy ring oracle that I'm working on. This one comes, the the cards are broken up into suits and they're also broken up into seasons. So I'm going through this, through the seasons. At the moment I'm in summer and um, I'm working through the summer suit. Um, so that's a depth of year project for the fairy ring and that's by... Uh, Anna Franklin. This book here has um, workings for uh, magic, but it's not a a grimoire or anything like that. I just um, let's see if I could do this one in. I just write down things that I want to try and things that I have tried. And I put that information in this book. And I hope to use this book up this year. 
doing that as well. I have a lot of little things coming out of uh, earthly alchemy's witch chest, witch chest, and I'd like to use all of those up. That most of that stuff is in here, all their bottles and things like that, and. Down in there is all herbs. I want to use a lot of those up as well. All those are my herbs, the magical herbs. And I will get in it and I will use a lot of those up. Um, I have thought about cancelling the earthly alchemy chest because it's $55 a month. That adds up over the year, but you do get some very good products in it, and I am supporting an Australian business, and I do like their products. They are well made, and um, you know I've have used them. So like this spray is empty. I've used this. These are the books that I've read which is uh, what I'm reading. So, and, and speaking of writing, I do, I want to get back into writing as well. I, I'm, I do muck around a little bit with um, creating characters and writing stories and things like that. So, um, I write longhand and then I put into the right uh, type it up in the computer right and long hand gives me a place where I can carry a notebook and pen and write anywhere so if I'm busy or something I can just sit down and write in a book or I could do a little bit of embroidery I want to do a depth year and just working with what I have for now well, be something I can do and something I can go with. I do have a bit of a problem flitting from thing to thing and uh, having a little bit of problems with um, finishing things. Although I do finish things eventually, I just take longer than most. idea for the slowing up on spending is to do a depth a year. And that's getting in all what you have and using what you have and making do. And I think that's a doable thing for me. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.